J.D. Irving Woodlands uses technology to assure that our forests are healthy and vibrant, to support our businesses and meet our environmental values. One way we use technology is through our tree improvement program. We use technology in several ways to develop the genetics that will be planted in our forests. And this is where uh, the process starts for uh, many of our small trees that you see behind us that eventually will turn into uh, our future forest. This space was recently renovated. It's uh, fully automated, uh, digitally climate controlled, and you can think about it as the intensive care unit for our very, very small and fragile trees that come out of our lab at Maritime Innovation Limited. It all begins with the traditional breeding program. You have two good parents, a good mother and a good father, and you cross them. We bring those seeds from those crosses back here at the lab and uh, very carefully we'll cut out a little tiny embryo that's inside that seed. We'll induce the stem cells of those seeds to start to proliferate. So we'll grow up a small set of them and then we plant them out into field tests. And we put the field tests in across all the regions to make sure that uh, we're accounting for all of the climate and geographical uh, differences. And we measure them up to 15 years. The measurement data will come back and it'll tell us who that elite individual was out of those starting crosses that we made. And then we have those cell lines preserved in cryogenic storage. They're frozen. So we bring out a vial of cells that contain the line and we thaw it and we start to proliferate the cells, make embryos from those cells, and then germinate those embryos into little seedlings. And we use technology that's designed specifically for growing uh, greenhouse crops. So we have a Priva control system set up in every one of our greenhouses and that manages and monitors temperature, humidity, shading, all the parameters that we need for growing. And in order to do that, we have sensors set up in the greenhouse that monitors humidity and temperature, and that is controlled according to the set points that we have for each stage of the crop development, from germination to exponential growth phase, to conditioning, to all of those phases that the crop goes through in order for us to produce a good quality seeding at the end of the day, we can control and manage each individual stage of the crop development. Having all this data gives us uh, the ability to make informed decisions on where our trees are going in our regions and making sure that, that we're, we're putting them on the right sites so we can really maximize um, their potential. And this is a really exciting time. You know, we, we've invested heavily uh, in a tree improvement program. This is the culmination of 30 years worth of research and hard work and dedication and a consistent strategy uh, that uh, we were tasked with by the Irving family. We are also researching new techniques, such as using DNA information to predict the characteristics of new trees before they have matured in the field. This will enable us to speed up the process of breeding and testing trees so that we'll go faster and better. Something that's been very valuable to us is, is, is technology that we leverage called LIDAR, light detection and ranging. Millions of pulses come down the ground from a, from a fixed wing aircraft. It's, it's been a game changer, the technology, full sweeps of the entire province, 8 million acres of land, 125 million grid points of data, trillions of information, all acquired from LIDAR technology um, that's been just incredible in order, to, in order to understand what we're looking at, how the forest grows, we can create the contour of the land, we can see where the water lays, we can see where the, where the stream flow, we can pick up buffers, we can pick up bogs. And the neat thing is we can pick up stand structure, the, those, those features that are above the ground. How tall is this tree? What's the diameter of the tree? Is it a healthy tree? What's the density of the forest look like? Does it need to be thin? Does it need a cleaning? These are all prescriptions that a forester evaluates on a day-to-day -day basis. And when you're managing land, large tracts of land, it's good to have wall-to-wall -wall, 
uh, very accurate, high, high consistency data so that, so that you know your inventory inside and out, you know your forest well, and, and it leads to a very healthy, sustainable picture. Really, technology has revolutionized how I do my job. So I make a map today, it's available today. In the moment that I make the change, a supervisor or a harvester has the ability to actually synchronize, receive that change, so really has increased our global competitiveness because we become so much more efficient. It's accurate, it's precise, so the area that needs to be harvested or treated silviculturally, it's driven by GPS, so there's no more errors um, in the forest. So we treat exactly where we need to treat. My supervisors are out there today. They come across a unique feature, such as a legacy tree or very old growth, large tree that we want to protect, or a bird's nest that we want to protect. They're able to map that today. I receive it today, and the harvester receives it instantaneously as soon as they synchronize. I think what I'd like people to really understand is that their concept of forestry and the logging industry is often nothing actually remotely close to what they're envisioning. If they're not exposed to it, they don't realize the leaps and bounds that we've taken as an industry to ensure the sustainability of the forest, how everything is driven by data, and it's not planning from the shoot of the hip. Everything is driven by data today, and using GPS, our GIS technologies that we have in all of our plans, how it, it just doesn't look the same today as the forest industry of yesterday. Every day at Irving Woodlands, we are working hard to improve the technology in our harvesting machines. OpsNav, our new navigation system, gives the machine operators knowledge at their fingertips for everything in their area. They see details about where they are on the harvest block and what the prescribed treatment is and how the trees should be processed for the sawmills. If a change is needed, it is updated in the tablets with the touch of a button. It also allows for the operators to leverage LiDAR data directly in the machine to know where the steep slopes and the wet areas are to keep our team safe while increasing productivity and minimizing the environmental impact. Harvesting machines today use optimization software that controls how we turn the trees into logs for our customers. Working with our sawmills division, we program the machines to maximize the potential lumber recovered from every tree we harvest. With millimeter accuracy, the harvesting heads are capable of felling the trees, removing all of the branches, and measuring and cutting the logs to preset lengths and diameters. Our chip dispatch software has received a major upgrade to provide better visibility on each product destined for JDI pulp and paper mills. This improvement allows our fleet coordinators to better predict and take action to reduce cycle times for trucks to get unloaded. We have recently had a 21% improvement on unload times, which resulted in a reduction of 8,700 idle hours for chip trucks in 2021. All core woodlands, log, and chip trucks are being equipped with new Geotab telematics that allows the contractor and supervisor to better manage truck efficiency and driver performance. Fuel consumption, idle time, driver behavior, and hours of service are key measures illustrated in reports available at their fingertips. Trucks are also being equipped with tablets to meet federal requirements on electronic logging devices, which provides many benefits from easy communication with dispatch and more detailed mapping capabilities to meeting future requirements of digital transportation certificates. Geotab technology is also equipped in our smaller vehicles, like our half-ton trucks, which means when this process is complete, we'll have over 450 units managed through this technology. Recently, we purchased, and with the help of our highly skilled technicians in the Chipman Garage, installed a remotely operated water monitor on our firefighting porter tank. This technology allows the user to start and stop water flow, change the angle of the water in any direction, and has the ability to modify the flow pattern from direct high intensity to a fog. 
This technology keeps the operator at a safe distance and with further development will enable us to require less people for this high risk work. Our technological advancements are always done with the goal of higher efficiency and safety for our team. Precision silviculture embodies the details of every possible silviculture choice in a back-end data design while putting the power of data-driven decision-making and analytics into the hands of the most important people, the foresters right here on the ground. Throughout the life cycle of a stand, many foresters will visit the site to prescribe the best seedlings, to assess seedling performance after planting, to prescribe silvicultural treatments, to protect the site from risks, and to schedule harvesting operations. Each of these silvicultural interventions requires information related to the previous treatment and to the overall objectives for the future of the site. We're essentially digitizing the forest and making a silvicultural decision at a level of precision that would not have been possible a few years ago. The goal is to facilitate site-specific forest management to ensure that we're growing quality trees as fast as we can. We work with researchers all over the world to drive technological innovations and expand our perspective. We interact with people in places like Europe, South America, and Australasia. From those regions, we have learned about genetic analytical techniques and climate adaptation. Climate change and pests force us to use all the best science and technology to keep our forests healthy.